so i'm an interior designer and artist uh, i've been uh, designing spaces since 2005 my company is called temple tree and it started with just me and now it's a big team of uh, designer supervisors uh junior architects architects so we do a lot of collaborative work we do a lot of just design work also turnkey projects construction um art um, you know consultation things like that her brief was that her kids were going to move back to india they were both studying abroad and eventually she wanted to she hadn't renovated the house in over 15 years um it needed some renovation it needed upgrade the children's rooms were kids rooms they've all grown up now so you know it had to be changed completely over the years she hadn't uh, done anything because she was really living in delhi and jaipur so she decided that she wants to redecorate redo the entire house it started with just doing her children's room and maybe the common areas but then once we started the work you know we redesigned the entire space This uh, uh, house is actually in Civil Lines, uh, which is a very uh, posh locality in Jaipur. It's a very green area. It's the most central area. There are only homes of ministers, the chief minister, the governor's house, and about seven or eight uh, homes on that main street. That's it. So this is one of those uh, homes. It's shared by. Uh, it's a family house. So there are three brothers and their portions. So it's a. It's it's a very large house. Uh, the portion that I did was the middle floor. and uh, so it basically starts from the center of the house and this is the uh, entrance this is the main lobby it had a, a a kind of like a low ceiling which we broke down and then increased that into the dining area then there are these entrances to um various rooms this room also was only this big earlier so we broke down the the people below this floor had built something earlier so we increased that took that terrace and increased this area and made this into a very large room this is the daughter's room and it also uh, had a, a a terrace attached to it a little uh, balcony which is actually like a mini terrace so you know it was a large l shape area which we could work with you know with renovations it's very tricky because you know these are old construction this house was built about 40 years ago so you have to look at um, it wasn't built to take that much weight so you have to really look consult a lot of structural engineers and you know other people who are specialists in uh, renovations so we uh, you know had to consult a couple of people to see how you know we are able to break walls and increase this area also this is the master bedroom so this is the southwest of the house and this is the big master bedroom then there is a little passage so it's a house that was built uh without a plan initially because you know they built where they could find space and they built when the uh, people below uh, this house were building something so then this is a a kitchen a bathroom which is attached here then this opens out into the big drawing room and that was it so then um and there was an open area here which i again broke this wall and created a bar so this is again a big l shape uh, uh you know drawing room and the sun's room is on the split level uh, below this so it's about actually the you know the the floor of this uh, room the bar and his ceiling are attached so this was a big this was the sun's room actually and there is a a circular stairwell right in the center of the house which leads to all the other floors first floor anyways is all this except for there's an open area in the middle and this was the sun's room so this is the the basic layout of the house as soon as you enter the house the first thing you see on the wall uh, there's of course there's the main door and right next to it is this uh, painting done by me in 2003 it's got a vibrant uh, kesariya color backdrop so the the mood is set of the house being extremely vibrant very colorful at the same time super luxurious right when you enter the house um, the old doors were given a coat of gray and uh, gold varak uh, you know gold foil work was intricate jali was made on that door and all the doors have that throughout the house so that whole you know the statement and the feeling of it being ultra luxurious of it having this modern yet traditional uh, you know elements 
starts from when you enter the house. So as soon as you enter the house, you come into the lobby. The lobby has a nice Chesterfield red couch with a, a beautiful coffee table. That is the portion of the house which is used a lot, you know, usually tea time. Uh, also, there's this beautiful painting of Ganga Upadhyay called Sindur Khela. So, you know, again, it's all positive energy. It's very nice colors. There's a beautiful border of gold and silver foil, uh, intricate border around the ceiling. The ceiling also has a pattern, uh, which is an arch, uh, kind of a cutout in the false ceiling. And it has two or three colors, so there's red, green. That is what we've also used in the upholstery and the carpets. So it's it kind of builds that whole, um, you know, feeling of what you're entering, what you're seeing. Also, because of the low ceiling, the dining table had to be pushed in uh, alignment with where the low ceiling was. But now, since that wasn't there, you could spread it out much more and, uh, you know, create something better. So that whole area is the lobby and dining room. Then um, the master bedroom. So master bedroom opens out into the dining room. It's the, um, it is where the owner has always lived. So it's, you know, again, it had, she'd given me a brief that she wants it very subtle, luxurious. Um, she wants it, again, she has a walk-in closet, uh, which is super luxurious, um, you know, and the bathroom, everything was changed. You know, the entire space was redone. The old closets, the, 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 only the boundary walls are the same, but rest of it was, you know, changed accordingly. Then uh, the most luxurious suite in the house is the daughter's bedroom. It used to be quite um, small earlier, but now we broke that wall. We increased the size of the room, so it has a living room, and it has a partition, and then it has her bed. So the brief that I got from the daughter um, was that I want a bay window, and I want a um, She'd come to my house a few months back and she'd like a mirror work panel which is above my dining room. She said, somewhere I want this in my house. So I have that the entire background of her, you know, the back wall of her bed. And she said, I want a big uh, head back on my, you know, like a hotel room. So uh, she only told me that, but it, you know, turned out that her room actually was a big surprise because of circumstances and, you know, what was allowed and what wasn't allowed in that neighborhood. She actually got the bay window in the opposite space, which turned out really well eventually. And she got a huge terrace attached to her bedroom. So it's a very private spa type room. Color scheme is peach, lilac, white, and gray. Um, colors that she really liked. So the son's room is, he lives in New York. He's in the film school there. So his uh, entire perception of things and his uh, taste is very different. Now when you look at the room and when you look at the room before, it actually looks like it was built for, for this, you know. So the bathroom is also very interesting, very large, uh, black and white. Uh, we've got Sartuario marble here. We've got Spanish grey as flooring, which is very dark. It's almost like black in colour and grey walls mostly. And some highlight walls are royal blue and brick. So, you know, the entire space looks very different from um, and totally reflects his personality. You know, he, he loves simplicity, he wears only blue, black, grey and so that is what is actually in the room. Uh, there's leather couch, there's a coffee table, there's this playstation, there's, you know, a big TV. Exactly how he wanted it to be. It, from the common area, the lobby, there is a, uh, there's a small passage that leads to the kitchen and uh, also to the living room. So the living room earlier was uh, a large space. Um, you know, it had a bar here. It had one couch, a three-seater here, and a, a single-seater here. Um, it, you know, it was quite large, but would not accommodate too many people to sit. So, um, and there was a big um, showcase here, you know. So when we redid the house, I was, you know, trying to contemplate and also it used to have an open terrace outside where a lot of times we would just sit here in this area and there was a door here, there was a glass window here. So I used to always feel that you know somehow we can incorporate and make this as part of the living room. Uh, maybe get more seating somewhere and you know this should not be something that we only use in good weather. I got this area as part of the living room, now there's a bar here. Um, there, there used to be a powder room also attached to, so you had to step out of the terrace and use the powder room earlier. Um, so because the powder room is here, there are these plumbing lines that go through. So we had to raise a little bit of that portion, but also I didn't want to raise it to the level of, to have different levels in the living room. So we only raised the portion where we were putting the bar counter. All the pipes have gone through here. That area is raised, we have a counter here, 
we um, you know have a, a little small couch here uh, this is the area where most of us stand when there is a dinner uh, you know this is we open this up in good weather we close it and use the air conditioning in summers or rainy season so this area is now properly used also we have a round table here with um, four chairs so you know when you're just a couple of people this is a good area to just hang out and the old couch um, is put here with a rose quartz um, center table with brass um, my client is very fond of uh, stones and uh, healing and um, you know so she's she she herself has a lot of these uh, moonstones and rose quartz so we have um, you know her favorite rose quartz here in the center table and then um, there's a enough area to play around there's a fireplace which she was very specific about she definitely wanted a fireplace so we have a fireplace here and a mirror tv on this wall um, so when you enter the living room you don't want to see a television so this is like a huge mirror which camouflages the TV inside. Um, a mirror also reflects all the greenery outside so the area looks even bigger. Um, we've got this wall behind the couch is completely covered with Tikri work which is a craft, it's a dyeing craft from Udaipur. The Oshish Mahal in, in Amer and Udaipur are made out of Tikri mirror. They're convex uh, mirrors that are cut into different shapes. So we have a geometrical pattern, keeping the, the fact that this space is very contemporary, leather couches, um, contemporary bar counter, fireplace, which is very modern. Um, I couldn't do anything, and this craft is very traditional. You know, it's, it's probably one of the oldest crafts in Rajasthan.